I'm in this museum at Netherworld on a house and there's some interactive stuff over here. We're going to check it out. Krug. This is a Krug from the 2007 Jason Statham movie In the Name of the King. For several years, this suit was used at Netherworld and finally retired to be placed in this museum. And we got Necromonger. A Necromonger from the 2004 movie The Chronicles of Riddick. This costume was a gift from our friends at the Imperial Theater in Hamburg, Germany, and was never used at the haunt. It did pop up a time or two at Dragon Con, however. Mummy. This mummy warrior has several parts from the 1999 Brendan Fraser movie The Mummy, and the bodysuit was from the movie The House on Haunted Hill. It was used at another famous haunted attraction before it found its way to Netherworld, the legendary Rocky Point Haunted House. Nice. Tombstone. This tombstone is from the 2017 TV show Lore that explored many fascinating myths and legends. Zombie Land. This is a zombie costume from the 2009 movie Zombieland. The haunted house segment was filmed inside of Netherworld, including the moment where our infamous Mega Mouth puppet ate a zombie. Netherworld staff produced training videos for the zombie actors, and Woody Harrelson's chainsaws from the film are also featured in this museum. Spiked heads. These heads on spikes are from the TV show The Originals, and if you look closely, you might find that one of them looks sort of like one of your favorite Avengers. Oh yeah, that one in the back. All right, then last one here, Sleepy Hollow. This colonial period figure is from the TV show Sleepy Hollow that ran from 2013 to 2017 and featured a creature-killing Ichabod Crane hunting down and destroying monsters. A bit braver, one might say, than his literary incarnation. Nice. And they also have these down here. A vampire sealed in concrete. From the TV show The Originals. And over here, there's a pig. Right there. And the pig. Year one, 2009. And right here, they have this little cat creature from the movie The Rage. It's kind of hard to see, it's dark. Well, let's move along over here. Well, hold on. They did not mention this one. The Clown. If you look closely, it's from the movie Batman Returns. And there's a certificate of authenticity right down there. Now we'll move along over here, see if this thing has any interactive with it. There's a gorilla. But we can look here. Some more creepy creatures. Yep, there is. Abomination. Okay, hello. That kind of spooks me. I didn't see that quite standing there. Behold, Abomination. the Abomination. A hideous half-man, half-monster hybrid with a full foam monster suit and custom fiberglass shell armor from Netherworld Haunted House's 2005 attraction, Abomination. We have a rabbit. Who says the Easter Bunny has to be friendly? This sharp-toothed rabbit uses his carrot to stab his victims. That is one painful way for you to get your daily dose of vegetables. Ogre? This massive ogre from Netherworld Haunted House's 2009 attraction Blood Knight was a servant of the vampire Lord Gulich. 
the huge silicone head and thick custom armor makes it one of the heaviest costumes ever worn at the haunt. Primordial. This is one of the primordial guardians from Netherworld's 2017 haunt, Primal Scream. The mask and costume for this character are light and comfortable compared to monster suits from past seasons. The Mangler. This is the Mangler from Netherworld Haunted House's 2008 show called The Mangler. A genius level surgeon, cursed with no emotions and incapable of feeling pain after he was burned alive. The Mangler has wormed his way into many of the Haunt's storylines and continues to be one of the most popular icon characters at Netherworld. The Tin Man. This is the Tin Man from the movie Heartless, a 2010 take on The Wizard of Oz. Variations of this fiberglass armor have been in use at Netherworld for years, especially for themes featuring Vault 13 or the Illuminati. Ducralian? This creature, called the Ducralian, was created for Netherworld to promote the 2001 show Planet X. And last one is Gargoyles. These creatures were some of the sculpts made for the 2010 haunt Gargoyle and were added to many of the animatronic figures that year. Well, there you have it. And over here is a case of some items and more on the wall. Right here in this case behind me, you got a demon skull right there. Alien skull, common goblin. Frankenstein skull. And another blown out skull there. It's kind of weird. Oh, this little creature here. And a big old weird monster fish looking thing. Right there. There's a case of other heads over here, which is pretty cool. Another display box with this guy and some weirdos over here and you got jigsaw saw puppet there's a zombie land chainsaw they were talking about a while ago and another one from that movie where it's cool looking thing go here you got this guy right here reaching out trying to grab me with those claws you got a crazy yeti here you know you'd be scared if this thing came up to you right here's another headstone over here mark Austin this little thing here Another headstone and a creature over here. And you got this case over here. Monster replicas by W. Morrison. And some witches over here stirring a brew. Kind of hard to see that guy back in the dark. And this dude here in another case. And that's about it. There's another little room with the aliens. Right over there. That's about it.